Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. There's the whistle, and here we go. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, N'Golo Kante. He is only one midfielder, but it often feels like he does the work of two or three. He's got exceptional awareness for danger and the stamina to make sure he can go and, and snuff it out over and over again if required. He's also exceptional in the tackle. And when you watch him in the latter parts of a game, 90th minute plus, he looks as if he's in the first five. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. And it's Kovacic, looks to thread it through. Well read, he sorted that out. Firmino. Firmino, can he get through? Back into the middle. And he's there to hoof it away. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Kante gets it back. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Chelsea have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Alexander Arnold just brushed off the ball there. Rudiger. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. He's left his man, and the shot! Oh, that was no routine save. Firmino simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Oxlade Chamberlain looking to go in for goal. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Thiago. Mohamed Salah. Oh, that's neat. Vinaldum. And the ball's come out. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Werner has a go! He's delivered all right! Werner versus the keeper, and only one winner. Yeah, that's brilliant from him. Such a, a calm finish. Just pick your spot, don't think about what the keeper's going to do, concentrate on what you have to do. Chelsea take the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Marcos Alonso did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path.
and it's Mane. And here's Roberto Firmino, played out to the right, gets away from his opponent. Firmino gives chase. Here's the cross. Kante gets it away. Alexander Arnold. Kovacic. Conte. Marcos Alonso. Rudiger. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. But it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Well, the action has already resumed here. Liverpool need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Robertson. Forward it goes. Thiago. Vijnaldum. Vijnaldum plays it forward. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Vijnaldum. Kovacic. Abra Abraham! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Time for a change in personnel. Hits one! Mane displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. And it's Marcos Alonso. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Out to the left it goes. Now the counter. Some good work on the right flank. Now what's next? Cut out in the nick of time. Liverpool are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And here's Mohamed Salah. Driving, it's Salah! Oh, that could cost them. Mohamed Salah clearly cannot yet fathom how he hasn't levelled it. A stunning, stunning save. He's looking to get there first. As Plequeta is there, and he can get that clear. Firmino. Good tap. Firmino! but couldn't steer it in.
loses his balance and loses the ball. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? And back to base. Thiago, and it's Firmino. Ball is over the line. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Kovacic tries to get it forward quickly. Rudiger. Marcos Alonso. Abraham. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Time added on will be two minutes. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Abraham. Out to the right. Timely intervention. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. Your final thoughts, Jim? It's just a bad day at the office, Peter. They look below par in all areas and it has to be cause for genuine worry.